remember the day when I first laid my eyes on you my channel my name is Arlene for any of you who are new here if you're not new here then you already knew that but if you are new please subscribe down below I would love for you to subscribe for today's video I'm going to be showing you how I got this look with one makeup brand well that's that's two one 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 makeup brand that is it cosmetics I did use a few other products like two or three other products that were not it cosmetics but 95% of it is gonna be one makeup brand that is how I got this entire look so if you guys want to see how I got this please keep on watching give it a thumbs up if you guys end up enjoying it and let's jump into it and now jumping into holy cow like I could barely hold this like this thing is insane I went to a cosmetics event recently if you guys don't follow me on snapchat then you wouldn't know that but I did go to an event this isn't sponsored by any means but they did give us this huge bag I think there's even doubles of some stuff just because I've been sent some other things and then we got this huge bag with like everything So let me know if you guys would want like a little giveaway I would probably do it on my snapchat, but leave a comment down below if you guys would like that So actually next up I'm going to start with the it cosmetics bye bye pores I have one right here I feel like there might be another one in the bag So this is the one that I've been using for a little while and a lot of people have raved about it and I love it. It has the kind of runnier consistency. It's not super thick, but it feels like velvet. Like it literally, it feels like velvet on your face. So the first thing I'm using is the Confidence in a Compact. This is in the color medium. I actually haven't tried this, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Basically, it's a solid super serum. It has SPF 50. It's supposed to be full coverage, and you guys know I feel about a full coverage. So I think this might give me a bit of a dewier, dewier look. So let's try this bad boy do this okay the color is good it's a little bit orange for my liking but it's a pretty good match of course bring it down on my neck and the double chin <laughs> So there's one half of my face done. I wanted to show you guys like the difference and see if you guys can tell. I think it looks a lot better. Covered up my redness. I have a lot of redness and acne scarring. Okay, moving on to concealer. I have the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. This is different from their original Bye Bye Under Eye. This one has a corrector in it, so it brightens up the eye. I've used it before and I absolutely loved it. It is very thick, similar to the other Bye Bye Under Eye, except it has that like super brightening. I don't know what they put in it. They put magic in here, but yeah, you do have to have a light hand because it is super thick. <laughs> I always like to bring my concealer over my eye to cover up my veins and stuff. Oh yeah, look at that eye difference. I know I'm looking crazy. You guys will see, it'll work out. Oh my gosh, I literally look crazy because I have concealer all over my lashes, so it looks like I have no lashes. But I'm going in with the Bye Bye Pores, and I'm putting that under my eyes to set the concealer. So I look completely crazy, but um, I don't like to look like this glowy or oily. I almost look oily at this point, so I am going to mattify things with the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. It also has SPF 50, and I'm just using a big old fluffy It Cosmetics brush. I'm also going to brush away this powder under my eyes. I'm also gonna go in with the Bye Bye Pores. This is the pressed powder and in a cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder brush. Just gonna smooth everything out so it looks like I have no pores, even though I have a bajillion. Then finally to add some color and sculpt up my face, this is the Use Sculpt and I've been using this for a while. I always use the medium contours, you guys can see. I fit pan on it, I use this pretty much every single day. I tend to have a heavy hand with it, so I've been trying to be more careful about it. We're looking a little more human-like. Okay, we're making progress. Okay, then I really want to dig into the Your Most Beautiful You palette, but this bronzer in here seems a lot more cool toned, and I just got this um, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess one, and I really, really want to try it out. It's a lot warmer. I like a warm uh, bronze, so I'm going to use this. Oh yeah, making me all warm and glowy. I'm digging this color. Bring it down on my neck. Also, 
and a little bit on my nose. And you were good to me, Estee Lauder. Now, on to one of my favorite parts. This is the Confidence In Your Glow in the color Instant Warm Glow. I tried this out at the event. Oh my gosh, like you guys have to see this. And you're supposed to use it with the One Sweep Wonder Brush, which is infused with skincare. And they even wrote my name on it. This brush is everything and I still look crazy. I still look crazy. I thought I was looking like a human. Oh my gosh. I swear these lights make you look crazier than what you really look like in person. No, maybe I do look this crazy in person. So basically, it's called a One Sweep Wonder because you're supposed to just sweep it across. It's supposed to give you bronzer, blush, and highlight. I already applied bronzer, so I guess I'm gonna get a little extra bronzer, but I'm just gonna sweep it across. I'm gonna focus it on the high points of my cheeks. Look at that glow. Oh, oh, oh. I actually, I wasn't expecting that glow right away. I was not expecting that glow. Oh my gosh. I went overboard. I definitely went overboard. One second, we will fix things. I literally just went overboard because it was so pretty, but I'm gonna take this powder brush, blend things out a little bit. So I do already have a highlight and I think it looks super pretty, but I do wanna try out this palette. So I'm gonna go with this top highlighting color that says live on it. Oh yeah. We're gonna be extra glowy today. Oh, stunning. Sit down my nose. High points on my brows. Cupid's bow. I still look crazy. Let's move on to the eyeballs finally. So for the eyes, I'm gonna be using the Naturally Pretty palette. I'm gonna start with Sunrise, which is this little brownish warm color right here. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I lied. I'm gonna put this in the crease of my lid, just as a transition shade. We're making moves, people. We're making moves. Should I call you guys people? What should I call you guys? Friends, besties, humans. Next up, I'm gonna go in with Noir, which is a very dark color. We are going there. We're going there. These lights might be fooling me. It might be black. We're not going in with that. We're gonna go in with Java instead, which is just this dark brown right here. Oh yeah, look at that pigmentation. One swipe. So I just like to put it on the lid and then I just blend it up a little bit into my crease. So once we're all smoked out, I'm gonna go in with Sunset, which is this like light pinkish color. It looks so pretty. I'm gonna put this in my crease also to blend things out. Holy crap, that was super pigmented. Okay. I meant to be a little gentler with the color. It looks really pretty, but I'm gonna sit here and blend for the next 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take that noir color and put it in the corners of my eyes just to give my eye a little dimension. And yes, this is definitely like a black color. Once again, super pigmented. I'm loving this. This is what I do sometimes when I'm blending. I don't even look in the mirror. Just kind of sit with my eyes closed, take a little nap while I blend. On to another fun part. This is not a cosmetics. This is the Stila Gold Goddess Magnificent Metals. If you guys have not tried this, I talked about it in my Sephora haul. And I've just, I can't get away from them. So I like to put it in the middle just like as a spotlight. And then I also like to put them in my inner corners. And it literally, it just, it changes the whole look. Like I love doing the smoky. I like this and then doing this. Oh. So literally just like that, like, does that not change up the whole look? Does it not look beautiful? Then in the inner corner, just a little bit. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Something else I haven't done in a while, I might end up regretting it, I don't know, because the last few times I put black liner on my waterline, I didn't like it, but then there's times where I absolutely love it. So hopefully today's one of those days where I absolutely love it. So this is the No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner. So I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Wish me luck. The funny thing is I used to do this all the time. I could never leave my house without putting black liner in my waterline and I feel so weird doing it again. Then to smudge things out a little under my eye, I'm going back into the Naturally Pretty, that sunset color that I've become obsessed with, and the Heavenly Lux No Tug Dual Eyeshadow Brush. Oh, I love this color. I'm loving it. Today's one of the days that I'm loving it. Loving the liner and loving this color underneath. Then for liner on top, I'm just using my handy dandy Sephora liner that I've been using forever. 
Then just to coat my lashes before falsies, I'm using the Superhero Mascara. This has been my holy grail. I freaking, I love this. If I was not wearing falsies, I would still be wearing this because like look at the way it coats my lashes so quickly. Gives them so much volume and length. Like I'm seriously obsessed with this. I also like to coat my bottom lashes. Aw oh, man. I always do this. That's a little trick if you guys don't know. Let it dry first before you take it off. So I'm gonna have a freckle there until the end of the video. I'm just gonna apply these Makeup Shack falsies and then I'll be right back. Lastly for lips, these two are brand new to me. I've actually never used any it cosmetics lip products, but this is the Your Lips But Better in the color Blushing Nude liner. And then for the lipstick, it's the Blurred Lines in Perfect Nude. A very wearable liner. Then for the lipstick, this looks a lot darker than the liner, but we're trying it. Oh, this is pretty. It's very buttery and kind of glossy, like a silky gloss. Okay, so that's everything for this video. This is the entire look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm sure it was a little long. If you guys made it to the end, leave me a comment down below saying you're bad and bougie. Bad and bougie. Yeah, leave that down below. Give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already. Follow me on all of my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, Snapchat especially because I might have a little giveaway coming soon. So yeah, follow me on all of my social media. That's it, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bad and bougie. That's stuck in my head now. Bad and bougie. Nah, 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 nah. Ooh.